Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my Code to Care uh, video series. Uh, I recently held a roundtable with four executives from healthcare providers to talk about their approaches to AI governance. Uh, and I just wanted to share with you the conclusions that we had uh, as, a, as a group, if it's helpful to you. Uh, so the first conclusion um, was that you should use existing process and committees. So there's a real stress. I thought it was going to be a little bit different uh, when we started the uh, discussion, but they really stressed that AI is kind of just like everything else in a lot of ways. So you need funding. It needs to have um, you know, either clinical administrative impact. There needs to be an ROI. There needs to be an assessment of the uh, of the risks, of the costs, of the business case, all that, all that stuff. So the processes that you already have in place, uh, with different committees recommending technology, arguing for certain investments, approving those investments, whatever that process is, your IT committees, your clinical committees, your your budgeting committee, your decision making committees, that those should be about the same, and AI should just flow through those processes. So there wasn't a lot of support, at least in this group, for like a chief AI officer or for AI to have a uh, free pass or anything like that. It just had to go through the normal uh, the normal uh, processes and accountability systems and things like uh, that. Uh, the second um, uh, point is they all did, perhaps in contrast to what I just said, they all had an AI committee. Uh, and this committee generally had different levels of strength, but it was generally like guidance, advisory, best practice sharing, expertise building, trust building, you know, just kind of coordinating the adoption of AI across the uh, the company and having, you know, folks from around the organization that work together as an AI kind of overall committee was present in in all the organizations that uh, that I talked to as part of this uh, roundtable, so that that's an important uh, important part of it. Not necessarily to um, you know usurp the existing processes and accountability models and that sort of thing, but to provide that subject matter guidance. Uh, the third um, conclusion was the importance of pilots, especially with regard to trust building. So with any new technology, you generally would do a pilot. You'd want to try it out, make sure everything is stable, that sort of thing, before doing a, a mass rollout. But there's a special emphasis here in AI uh, because of all those reasons, but also the need to build trust. Uh, AI is a technology that people don't have that much exposure to um, in you know a clinical setting, that kind of uh, that kind of thing. So people are nervous about it. Um, there's a lot of unknowns. And so doing the pilot, advertising the pilot, uh, evangelizing the good results, managing the risks appropriately, you know, uh, communicating well, these are all, um, uh, you know, methods to building trust, which is really necessary for, a, for an eventual successful AI rollout. So pilots were really, uh, really stressed, uh, stressed there. Uh, and then last, um, is some way to monitor um, the ongoing uh, use of the technology. So uh, monitor it for impact, for adoption, for uh, any risks, um, for uh, you know ongoing costs, any problems, that kind of that kind of thing. So it's very important, of course, um, uh, once you start rolling it on into production, that there's a process around ongoing monitoring and that kind of uh, that kind of thing. So those are the four things that the group uh, uh, really discussed. And I thought this was interesting because it wasn't um, uh, exactly what I thought uh, we would uh, conclude uh, when the meeting uh, started, which is always, uh, always great. Now, the last thing I'll leave you with uh, on this was a great uh, quote, Joel Venko, who's the um, CIO, uh, Chief Digital Officer, Senior VP of Hartford Health, a buddy of mine. Uh, we worked together for many uh, years. He brought in a great quote from Mario Andretti, the race car uh, driver. And he said the, the what Mario said is that the brakes, uh, everybody thinks the brakes are to slow you down. 
but really good brakes allow you to drive faster. Um, and uh, because you're kind of assur- assured that, um, you know, that you can handle a tough situation. And once you have that assurance, you can drive faster, obviously. And I think that's a good role model for governance. It has this era, at least in the beginning, of let's slow down, let's be thoughtful, let's manage risk, all that stuff. And all that is good. But what it enables you to do is move faster and move faster with confidence that it's going to be good for your organization, good for your patients, good for your um, clinicians, good for your uh, community. <clears throat> so uh, so that's it. I hope that was interesting and uh, and talk to you next time.